Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. And sorry about my uh, screw ups in the last episode. Uh, I actually realized probably two minutes after I stopped the recording that uh, what I needed was a gantry for my rocket. Things always become clearer when I stop my recording. Uh, Soup here is doing some research. Now, I wanted to make sure the rocket worked, so I did launch one rocket, petroleum rocket. And let's, it's, it's actually back now, so I want to actually get it going again. So here it is. This thing is big. Look at this thing. I don't even know if they intended these rockets to be so ridiculously large, but maybe they're compensating for something. I don't know. Look at this. And it's not even, it could be bigger. Okay, this oxalite is actually in there, even though it doesn't, sh this indicator, I guess, is only if you use liquid oxygen. I always think the game is not... I, thought, I always think the game is paused when I come to space because the music stops. But it's not paused. It's still running. Slowly. So last time I went to... Let's just see here. Where did I go? I went... Where can we go? That's what I should be asking. We could go all the way to the ice planet. And beyond. How far can I go here? I guess I could look at the max range. 80,000 80, kilometers. So we can't get all the way to these crazy planets out here, but we could get to the uh, way out to here. But I'm going to work my way kind of closest to farthest. Now I've done all the research, I've collected all these research things, which are a one-time thing. You can only get 50 points for each of these. Now you can go back to the same asteroid and you'll get 10 research points or modules per, uh, per science mod that you have. Research module. So this rocket has five, I think. Yeah, so we would get 50 points if we revisited some of these older ones, but I haven't been to this one yet, I don't think. I have been to this one. Okay, that's what I did off camera, and then we're gonna go Ice Planet. We haven't been there yet, so we should be able to hit all five of these, come back with 250 modules, but I think there's an asteroid uh, shower coming in, but that doesn't matter, we can launch Anyway, we're full of petroleum. We've got our oxalate. And the reason I used oxalate is, is it's way easier to make than trying to build a liquid oxygen maker. Maybe in the future I will try to make one of those. I've done one in the past, a long time ago, using kind of a hydrogen bubbler idea that someone else came up with lo a long time ago. It's an interesting project. Maybe we'll wait until we have super coolant because th then it'll be much easier to make liquid oxygen. But let's launch this... Uh, Let's launch this rocket. Launch mission. There we go. And she's off. We've got, we got an extra thruster on there. Now, if you hear some kind of hissing in the background in my recording, uh, you are not uh, experiencing hallucinations. That is the rain, and it's been pouring crazy rain here the last hour. And I was tired of waiting to record. I just wanted to get back to the game. So that's what that sound is, if you can hear it. Maybe you didn't hear it, and now you do, now that I mentioned it. Oh, we're getting repairs. I gotta disable repairs on these. Disable, auto repair. Disable, auto repair. We don't need these to be repaired. They still work when they're broken. So this is gonna take a long time, 12 cycles. Unless we use super speed, which is very buggy, in terms of the uh, mission times, uh, if I use super speed, this rocket would probably take one cycle instead of 12. But I won't use super speed unless uh, we kind of get, we're stuck and we're waiting for stuff to be built. I kind of want to clean this air in here, so let's just, whenever I see dirty air, I just impulsively put a deodorizer in. Now there's one thing I did last time, I. I didn't show on camera actually, and it's this copper volcano. And I'm not really doing much cooling here. I actually don't even need copper, um, but I thought I'd set this up anyway. This is just ceramic around the outside, insulated tile, and a lot of heat does get out when this thing goes off. Actually, the heat mainly stays inside. Now this water, I don't actually want this water to be in here. Originally I thought, oh yeah, there's no ladders, they can't get in there. Why did I take the ladders? Oh, the ladders probably meant melted. 
Jeez. Okay, let's put them back in. Mafic rock? No, I don't want mafic rock. Let's use granite. We'll do that. I don't think I need that second ladder. And then we'll mop this up. Otherwise it turns to steam and then it kind of... I don't know if it makes it hotter, but all the steam gets out. But if we just leave it like this when it's dry, the heat slowly gets out and it gets cooled by the weaselworts. And it's dormant now for another 25 cycles, so this will this will generally, over time, cool down. I think I need more ceramic though, if I'm going to go do that. There's a gold volcano I want to tap into and do basically the same thing. Uh, where is that gold volcano? I think it's in a cold biome somewhere. Let's see. Oh, it's over here, I think. There it is. So I'm going to do something very similar. I might not do it as big. Oh, I'm totally out of ceramic. Okay, I'll go make some ceramic. Look at all this water. It's a mess. Now I'm making ceramic over here in my oxygen making room. Let's queue up some of that coal. Clay to ceramic. Continuous. Get them working on that. Now look at this water. Look at all this water. Oh yeah, sorry, last episode I I was flooding petroleum into the uh, the void, into space, just wasting petroleum. That's because I'm really cool, right? I just, I can waste stuff. I'm just so good. Actually, that is not true. I am just a moron. Okay. That's all good. This, oh, I want to use more water for more stuff. Well, we already got our oxalate thing running full bore here. Someone asked why I don't use uh, the little the little puffs that can make oxalate, and the reason is I like to waste power. No, the reason is this thing can just crank out ridiculous amounts of oxalate, and I had spare power, so setting up all the little puffs to do it, it takes forever, and I wanted lots of oxalate really quickly. Look at all this natural gas. We're not even using it. All this water we could be using. Now I tore apart all the uh, aqua tuners that were in here. That was a failed, very failed uh, attempt at making a sleet wheat farm. I'll probably try to do it with... Uh, I should remove all these pipes, get the materials back. So it ended up freezing. I had three aqua tuners in series, which dropped the water down from 40 to negative two and it actually started freezing freezing solid in the pipe and it was all breaking and falling apart so I just took it apart and I'm losing my voice again which is not a good thing to have when you're a youtuber okay what are we gonna do this episode once we have ceramic I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that gold for sure our rocket is quite a ways away we could try to make jetpacks. I've heard they're very, uh, oh, look at this food is actually going down now. That's good. I'm going to try to make the jetpacks because I've never done them before, except for in the preview when I was cheating with debug. Let's see what we need here. Jet suit dock. I thought I'd build it over this way because I don't want them... I don't know what happens if you have exosuits. Like, if they're in an exosuit and then they go through a jet suit dock point? Like, do they just drop their exosuit? I'm not really sure. So, but if they come this way, they'll be free to do whatever they want. So let's, let's, let's do a jet suit dock. Out of iron. Should we put it right here? Is there any harm to putting it right here? I don't think so. I'll move this deodorizer. And let's actually dig down here a bit let this water level go down a bit. Oh, do I have them restricted? Yeah, they're not allowed to go in there. That's so they wouldn't run in here and grab little bits of slime. But they can go in there right now. That's okay. We'll, we'll make it so they can't go in there in a sec. 
See, they get very busy picking up like 20 grams of slime at a time. There is a bunch of meat and stuff in there and shells, so they can grab that at least. Reed fiber, like we need any more reed fiber. Okay, this is going to need power. Let's build a proper floor here. And I've done this in past bases and someone recommended it again. I should use gold tile for, for like bedrooms and stuff for decor. How much gold do I have? I don't have a lot of gold, but we could build a few. Metal tiles, 100 each. Let's build a few golden floors. I'll save the gold though until we have a bit more. We'll do that tiny amount there. How's research going? We are almost done all the research. We're doing special cargoes, which lets us get organic, like wheeze warts and stuff. And then cryofuel is for hydrogen powered rockets. I probably will stick with the petroleum ones, the petroleum rockets for a while. Oh yeah, we gotta make jet suits. I haven't made any of those. How much power do we have? 1.8 kilowatts. I'm going to risk over overloading the circuit again. We'll turn off the research, or maybe I have another line I can use. This power line has 1.1. Let me see here. I think I'll just risk it. What's the current load on this circuit? Current power consumed is zero. We'll just chance it. And if we overload a wire, so be it. We're only going to make a few jet suits and then turn this thing back off. Oh, they're already making something. Oh, I had a bunch of Atmos suits queued. For future expansions. Okay, what's the load now? Oh, we're fine. We'll let them do the at Atmos suits. Uh, let's, I actually want to do jetpack first. Let's cancel those. Jet suit. Steel. Oh, and petroleum, right. Do we need an input line for that? How's that going to work? I think I need to bottle some petroleum. Unless there's, there's no liquid input. How the heck are we going to do this? Um, I don't have any exposed petroleum. We'd have to dribble some on the ground and then pick it up. We could do that. I could make a little place for it here. Let's do that. Okay, we put a little tiny... Like this. I hope a bottler works. We'll find out. Or like a pitch a pump. Okay, and then we'll put a little... Sunburn. Actually, I'm going to use a valve. Like this, so we can control how much goes in. Insulate a pipe. It's actually not going to matter because it's going to be in this thing anyway. It's going to get hot. Actually, I needed more room than this. Okay, let's remove these. And move it over a few. I don't know if this is going to work. But we'll just spout it out here. And set this to... We'll let it go full bore. And then we'll put a pitch pump on the top. And hopefully that works. Let's use granite. Hmm. Okay, nice boiling hot petroleum. And how much did we need to make a suit? We need only 25 kilograms. How much do we have available? Uh, we have lots. Okay, oh, they picked some up already. Let's turn that back off. Pretty 
priority eight. Okay. Are they making it? Yeah, they're making it. They are doing it. And we got a we got a suit. Oh, these things look so cool. They remind me of uh, Ed Two O Nine. Is that was his name in uh, RoboCop? The top part of him, and he has two legs like a Imperial Walker. Imperial Walker. Okay, we're gonna deliver that suit. I feel like we're in the space age now. We got all these like super modern things. I already made a suit. They're making another. Did I make two? I don't remember making two. Hmm. Oh, well, they just haven't delivered it. But did I queue two? What? Oh, I did continuous? Cancel. I'll just do one. I don't remember. Getting continuous. Okay, this thing needs petroleum, power, anything else? And oxygen. Oh wow, we gotta supply this thing with tons of stuff. Okay, this oxygen line is backed up. Let's use that one. It doesn't really need to be insulated. Let's use granite. Shove that in there. I should probably use hot oxygen for this, but I only have my cold oxygen. Wow, are all these suits in use? Crazy. Are they really in use? Where is everyone? They are not in use. They just got redistributed, I think. Let's deliver a bunch of those in there. Deliver, deliver. Okay, let's close some of these menus so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Find. Uh, we want, let's see, we got clothing. We have four jet suits. That's probably good for now. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to make more of them, but I do want to queue up some Atmos suits for later if we need more. We have two spare right now. Okay, now, how much power does this use? 120, that's not too bad. We will just grab power from this. Doing everything priority nine, which is probably bad. This looks pretty damn cool. I don't think the art was like this when I checked it out in the preview build. That looks pretty freaking awesome. So we got oxygen, now we need petroleum. And I do have a petroleum line here, up here. This has to be insulated, or we will boil the base. Let's use sedimentary rock, we're running low on that. Run it straight through, hopefully this doesn't heat up too much. In you go. good. I'm liking it. Once they build that pipe, we'll be in business. I should have used ceramic, but I'm really low on ceramic and I need it for our gold geyser. Let me check how much I have here. Where are you manufactured? No. Is it under raw mineral? Ceramic, 6.2 tons. Oh wow, they got made pretty fast there. Look at this poor puffed. He's like, these are all his progeny. Sorry, he is the progeny. These are all his ancestors. In, in edible form. Oh, same thing here. Poor Dreco graveyard. Okay, let's find that gold. It's down here. Yeah, let's build a ceramic enclosure. Someone said gold geysers don't actually give off that much heat. compared to the other metal geysers. That's not gonna fall. This sleet wheat, these two might get too hot. We'll, we'll find out. 
Expo 3. There's actually three sleet weed here. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We should analyze this thing. Oops. Analyze. Uh, it's not erupting right now. Research complete. Did we finish something? Nope, not yet. Well, I gotta make sure we're observatorying the observator bold things. Look, are we doing that? Yeah, that's being researched. Okay, all good. Now they need a way to get over there. How do I want to do this? Go soup? Hmm. Maybe I'll make this ceramic too. Right here. They need a way to walk over. I want the heat to get out somewhere. So we'll do this ceramic. We'll do everything ceramic except for this little outlet. We can't do it here and here, that's, that's probably gonna melt. And we're gonna lose that wonderful sleet wheat, but see how it goes. This thing could start erupting at any point. But at least we'll have gold building up. Now the other thing you can do is, what I've done in the past is just completely, oh here it goes, completely enclose it, let it collect a whole bunch of liquid gold, and then one day go back and just dump it into some like ice water or something, ice bath, to cool it down. Here it goes, it's gonna go. And it comes out at pretty, pretty hot temperatures, 2600 degrees. Okay, I have to do these ones as nine, otherwise we're gonna get... It is solidifying. It's not a lot of mass though, so it cools down relatively quickly. Like it's at 824 degrees already and dropping. And because it goes dormant, it gets a time, it gets a chance to cool down. So I think it might be okay, just like this with a wheeze order two sprinkled around. It's really cold over here, so let's move this weed work. And we'll stick it right here. Just to help cool this area. Why does it select mafic rock? Don't know. Maybe because we have a lot of it. Plant that weed sword. Actually, we have three spare weed swords. Oh, well. Wow. I kind of want to improve airflow in here for no real reason, but we'll just dig this out. Okay, soup might get turned into a liquid here. Oh, there's some ice in there. That's going to melt. That's going to turn to steam. Uh, which might be a problem. We should probably sweep all that out. I'll make a container for liquefiables just over here. Out of granite. Actually, let's replace this so it doesn't melt away. I think he's actually going to be stuck the way this is set up right now. Everything will start melting. Okay, liquefiable sweep only. And then we can sweep out the stuff that's in here. Okay, that's that's good for now. If we hear a burning warning, we know soup is getting melted. Back down here. No checkpoint. Okay, let's put the checkpoint in. We'll just do it with one for now. Just to take this thing for a spin. Jet suit checkpoint. As if the arrow has to point the other way. Boom. Then we can go crazy in here and just dig the crap out of the left hand side of the map. Slime it up. 
Oh, this should be fun. Why didn't I do this earlier? What an amazing contraption. We'll see how the lag gets when they put that thing on, because the pathfinding apparently is really tough, because it can, it can go anywhere. Unlike when you're in the base, you're restricted to certain, certain paths. How's our rockets halfway? Someone said put more exosuits up here. I'm kind of, I'd have to re-move things around a little bit. That's not a problem though. We just dig through here. Oh yeah, that rain is coming down. Outside. Not in, in the real world. In the real world. Okay, I wonder if I can corner build this all. And we can fit one more in. I don't... Should we go in here? We should go in from the top. If we're going to go in, let's go in from the top. Because at least that way... Um... What's the temperature differential there? Uh, not too bad. Let's just go through the abyss light. Actually, I'm going to come all the way down. Or we can't. Then we'll build a wall. And then we can move this to the left. Push all the chlorine away. Now I know you don't have to build a, a full ladder like this, I could do every other one, but I don't, I think they're a little bit slow moving down a ladder like that. And because the pressure is higher on the outside, I think this hydrogen, well this hydrogen will still come up, but the chlorine will probably stay at the bottom. I'm gonna get a bunch of food out of this. Okay, hydrogen, are you coming out? Yes, you are. You'll end up right here, that's fine. That little Dreco's gonna get out. We actually want him to stay in there, so I'm gonna put a... Maybe a pneumatic door here, just to keep him inside. Because if the chlorine stays at the bottom... Um, whenever he turns into food, it should stay in there. Okay, we're all ready to go here. Jet suit dock. Let's uh, rip it up. Let's try this. Let's try this bad boy. We'll try to dig up here. Oh, look, it's accessible. Oh boy. Here we go. Maybe not. Disregard. Are we? Are they allowed in there? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, there he goes. He's flying. She's flying. Okay, just go crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Where are you going? You're done already? Oh, I like how they just fly over that. Sweet. Sweet. Seal that up. Speed things up. Okay, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Maybe when they're... Oh, oh. Why are they, they get a little pained look on their face. I wonder what that is. Maybe they're pooping in their suit. That's probably what they're doing. Maybe we should put some more of these in. They're so cool. Kind of need more power on this line. I'm going to disconnect this wire again. Just because we don't need any more exosuits for a while. It's like a little mini airlock. Oh, we're getting laggy. Okay, it's less dramatic. Let's put in deodorizer. What should, where should we really go? I want to dig out a nice big 
Now we can just dig in any direction. It's so weird having not to think about where we go. Just dig it all. Oh, the pathfinding must be very painful. Can we see? Well, we can see where they're going. Let's cancel that. We don't need this done. Let's just dig this all out. Not those. Yeah, I can see the game struggling to figure out what is available and what is not. I like how they only fly when they need to. That's kind of nice. Maybe they're saving fuel. That's some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff though. 0.92 kilowatts. Uh, I want to build more of these. We, we have no reason to go in here and mine, but it's just so fun. Okay, let's go up here, let this water out. See what's up here as well. I still think there's a natural gas geyser out there, because I've only found one of them. Hmm. There they go. Okay, let's, let's build another one. Let's take this out. And we'll move it over. Okay, we want... What was that under? Stations... Jetsuit dock. We can probably do... At least one more. Maybe I should do two. We got the power. I think we got the power. We have the power. Okay, what priority was that? Seven. Then we need oxygen. And power. Oh, and petroleum. Power and petroleum. Why am I paused? This has to be insulated. Okay, we're running out of everything. Let's use granite. It's a crappy insulator, but... Oh, and we need to deliver some suits. Oh, I like the new... There's like... They slightly altered the music, I think. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I better leave that door. It's holding the puffed in. Okay, now they're digging that without suits. That's no good. Some of them have suits. Priority seven. Good, they're washing their hands. There's lots of dirt in here. It's full of germs. Okay, I haven't looked at jobs in a while. Let's make sure. Let's just unassign all these hundred percenters. That, these two. And we'll use the new trick that you've all been telling me about. You just go in here and look for the ones that don't have a crown. I'm not going to train everyone in chef though. That's well, actually. Let's do the more important stuff first. Let's do general engineer. And seasoned farmer. I think that's everyone. Now we could take on more dupes. And I did say at the beginning of this playthrough that I wanted to build two bases. So I should probably think about doing that. The telescope is idle and our ship is 72% of the way. What can we analyze next? Oh, we're getting close to the... Oh, this was a gas giant. So what the heck is that? The gas giant. Natural gas, hydrogen, niobium... This light, isoresin, fluorine. Let's go here now. Got the sour gas accumulating, which I don't like. We got this water building up. How are we doing for natural gas? 
We're backed up. We're not using all our power. We've got so much solar pa power that we can't consume our natural gas fast enough. We are using petroleum though, which is good. How are we doing for oil at the bottom? I haven't looked at the bottom in a while. Oh, we got tons. Well, kind of tons. We could release this up here. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's, let's just build a ladder up this way. We'll do this priority six. We'll do that next, and then we'll let all this out. Priority six. Ladder should be. Ladder's fine at seven. Oh, good. The sour gas is mostly stored away. There's a bug right now that doesn't show the gas it has a white color instead of it should have actually have a color. But those are gas molecules in there. Gas packets. Someday maybe I'll go in here. 103. It's kind of hot in there though. I think there's some hot abyssalite that's touching somewhere. Oh yeah, these abyssalites are 400 degrees. 700, so they've cooked. We'd have to go in there and cap it off, but if we go in here, then it's all going to start turning into more sour gas. 38 kilograms. Yikes. Research complete. No, they keep saying that. I gotta clear this off. It's, it's fooling me. We got a lot of oil on the side as well. We could be using. I think I'll drain this out. If we mix 105 degree with 93, we should be okay. I'll wait until this is all gone, and then we'll cut a hole through here. We'll drain it all in. But it's going to be a while before we run out of oil. And we have this water geyser I've never even used yet. We should actually just start gushing water out and let it go somewhere, maybe down here. Yeah, maybe I'll, once I've drained all this oil out, we will build a container for all this water to gush into. I have no use for it yet, but someday, someday we could use it. Uh, for now, I guess I'll just leave it. We've got water here I'm not using. We've got all this water. Let's go check that gold volcano. Make sure it's not burning up the universe. Uh, where was it? Not there. It's to the left. Oh, we got some gumming up of the machine. Cut that out. What happened here? Did a duplicate melt melt down? 1200 kilograms. Refined carbon. And sand. I think that's from the polluted water boiling. Yeah, that's working pretty well. But this water is an issue. Oh, it's not much water. Okay. We'll just try to get all that out of there. And we don't want anything melting in here, so I'm going to put some granite at, top, at the top here. Let's see how we can do this. Let's do this. Now, that will melt in right now. But, uh... Okay, they're not going to be able to get to that anymore. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm a genius. No, I will do this. I'll let them get in this way. That way, we can go down here. So this will actually be insulated as well. 
I won't use ceramic. Actually, we have lots of ceramic. Let's use ceramic. This should this should actually be ceramic. We'll just trap all that heat in there. Yeah, like that. That way this should stay cool on this side. Yeah. I I like it. I'm gonna have to clear all the ice out, but no more ice should get in there once we do that. Okay, they can't reach that. I'm like, what is that sound? It's the ice. This can be... Oh, there goes the volcano. This can be granite. And they can hop to that ladder. Don't need to deal with that. That's unreachable. We need a ladder. Is that sand or what? Sand. Oh yeah, the sand gets so hot that it turns to glass in this thing. Yeah, so we should have some we should have some glass in there. Yeah, look at that. It's a glass volcano. Now, in the past what I've done is I've sent in a radiated radiant pipe to cool these things down, but I don't think it's necessary. You can just do Wieswart air cooling. And because it goes dormant for so long, next dormancy, oh, five cycles, it'll just cool back down and we won't have to worry about it. These guys are stuck, I think, at the moment. Priority nine on... Oh, they're done. Never mind. We'll get out. They're fine. That'll be all heat shielded. Do these. Now we gotta sweep all the ice out of there. So we'll do priority eight sweep here. Now they are gonna sweep, sweep some of that molten gold and probably bring it into the base. Probably not the greatest thing, but it'll cool down. We got this water geyser too. Oh my gosh, we got so much water. It's kind of ridiculous. We have so much water we could just like fill the map with oxygen. We could go for a really high dupe count. But the problem with taking on tons of dupes is lots of lag. Now in six weeks there's an update to the game coming out. Which is supposed to be like a quality of life. Well, not quality of life, but polishing... Performance enhancements, that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can start to do like more... What am I doing here? Let's do sweep. Do more like mega bases. Now I gotta plan out where I want to put my... Actually, let's check the star map. 94%, we're almost there. I gotta figure out where, where I want to put the second base. Probably in some kind of temperate zone. We could make a small base down by the oil. Down here. It's kind of hot down there. Or we could do a base closer to the top where it's all like space base. I'm tempted to build it in here. But it's freaking hot in here. Actually, it's only 100 degrees. We could cool it down. At the bottom, <laughs> look at this temperature gradient. It's negative 8 all the way to 110. But we'd have to build all our infrastructure in here. And there's, because of the statues in the way, it might be kind of difficult. Can we build a ladder up here? Over this sofa? No, this sofa's in the way. And we can't destroy it. That's kind of crappy. 
Hmm. We need beds, we need bathroom, we need to bring water up here. We already have power, so that's good. We'd have to bring oxygen. Oh, I'll think about that. Okay, 98%. Rocket's almost here. I'll just uh, have a sip of water and wait for it to land. Should be here soon. 99. No line of sight. Like I said, we should get 250 data disks, data banks. We're also looking for, ma for more vacillator recharges. Okay, doors are opening. I do need to build more of these scanners. The problem with the scanners, though... Oh, yeah, is that uh, we need to be able to clear them off. Oh, here's a rocket. Oh, it crushed... Oh, nice. It just totally crushed the stuff there. Here's our data disks. How many do we have? 250. We're almost done with all the data disks that we need. Let's check our research. We need... Oh, that has 800. These are 800. Holy crap. Okay. Maybe we're not that close to being done. So we're going to refuel, and then we're going to turn this puppy around, get back out there. I'm going to leave the five modules just so we're maxing all the research out. And once we get all the research points, then we can start doing cargo. And I'll probably hit that ice planet. Let's just check. Now we've checked all five boxes, so now we have to go out further, farther, to go out farther to get uh, all these. So it's going to take even longer. It's way out there. I had a robo miner here, but it melted. I think it's just too damn hot. Back down we go. Okay, this is almost all done. Sweep that out. And mop it all out. I don't I don't necessarily want the water in there. And down here still digging away maybe? We could use robo miners in here. We have to lead the power in, but what they have to go. Oh, that's me. Hi, me. Okay, don't really need to do this. Okay, we broke this open. That's good. Could start using this water. How much algae do I have? 17 tons of algae. My food is actually starting to drop a little bit. I want to feed some algae to these. These. Uh, I want to build a little bit of a fish farm in here. Not too much because they get they get pretty laggy. But let's take a, take this out. And to a fish feeder. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I think that'll be good. We'll feed them for a while. They'll multiply up a bit. And once they are to good a good number, maybe like twenty of them, then I'll stop feeding them. 
and they'll just, they should maintain that population. I could merge these two tanks here, as long as this doesn't break. I don't like how I have water over top of my... Let's get rid of that. A lot of heat being dumped into the air here, but that's okay, a little bit of petroleum. Sunburn. Okay, let's put algae in this. We'll feed everything. Priority 7, priority 8. Okay, watch them, watch them come in. Feeding frenzy. Whoa. The little, the little baby's mouth was as big as... What the heck was as big as the big Paku? Oh, they're so happy. Okay, they're gonna eat pretty much all our algae, but that's okay, because we can mine up more slime. Let's build a floor here. That's all good. And we could bring some, let's bring some over as well. Do a fish trap. Fish trap, where are you? Fish trap. And we need a critter, a fish drop off. Fish release. Fish release. Right here should be good. We should collect up all the fish that are on all over the place and drop them off in the big tank. We can get this one. Can we can we get that one? Fish trap. There's not enough water in here. It might work. Yeah, we'll consolidate all our fish. I could automate this as well. Oh, what the heck? Some plastic just fell down this ladder. <laughs> okay. Uh, to automate this, we would need... Let's just put a... Well, it won't be completely auto completely automated, but we'll put a we'll store some algae here, and then we'll put an auto sweeper to fill this thing because this is the tedious part, refilling this all the time. But well, we got lots of jobs going on. Uh, let's do auto sweeper. Stick that there. Might as well use heavy watt wire since it's here. We'll dump all aquatic creatures here. Priority six, so they do it. Let's check those jobs. Oh, actually, uh, I need to add two new dupes to the base. Uh, let's go see who we can add. Uh, we have... Now, these are female dupes. I'm sorry, but that's all we have left, I think, pretty much. So, Ellie will become Philippe. Welcome to the base, Philippe. And who else could we do here? Not Stinky. Stinky always stays as Stinky. I guess Ada will become Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Okay, how's our rocket? I think we're ready to go here. It's all full, 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 and full. Let's go out to organic mass. Can we go there? Yes, underway. Goodbye, rocket. Oh, yeah. So it goes up to 2,000 degrees there. Holy crap. This is why you don't contain it in a missile silo, because any background tiles, they would go up to 2,000 degrees and you'd have to cool them. This way you get free cooling, it just dumps into space. Which is what I like. Zero maintenance. Why aren't they harvesting this? 
<laughs> that was good timing. They're on the job. I'll get some free mushrooms here I could be getting into. Let's, uh, let's do that. There's a lot of food in here. Don't really want the puff to get out. I'll try to trap him. Trap him right here. In this enclosed space. I really need a pop filter for my mic. So that when I say P words, they don't, uh... Pop. That's what I'm trying to say. We can make plastic ladders now. But we don't need to be fancy. We'll just use granite. Then we'll get all this delicious puffed meat. It goes all the way down. I could have drilled in from the right, but I would rather just do it this way. Okay, that should be good. Let's do this as a nine, so we make sure the puff doesn't escape. Let's mop this up. I don't like this messy. It's all melting away. That's okay. It's nice and warm in there. Probably need a second weasel to keep that all cool in there. Jobs. Uh, Gabe, I believe we'll just move to the right. And soup. What should you do? Oh, I've got some weird leg there. Okay, space cadet. We don't want any more space cadets. Season miner. And mechatronics. That sounds good. I think there's actually three, though. Oh yeah, I moved one over. This one's about to level soup. What? Weird, I thought I just promoted soup. I think I did, maybe it was half trained. Okay, all that food. Get in there, get that. Get this fish out of there. Maybe I'll leave that mushroom growing there. These need CO2, they're not growing. Okay, mm hmm. Let's check the rocket, 6%. That's gonna take a long time to get there. I have no dig orders in here. Let's just start mining the crap out of this. Priority, we'll do priority five. And I'm going to do something a little bit drastic here. <laughs> we have the technology. That'll just probably make a lot of lag, but... Why not? We can do it. Oh, this thing runs pretty hot. 42 degrees. There they go. <laughs> they picked up some rock instead. I'm gonna dig this out first so they can actually get a path to it. Easier, easier path in. We'll do that as a seven just so they get in there. Oh, let's just go here. They're not exactly fast. Why do they make that cringy face? So weird. Okay, I did want to put another bedroom in to replace the crappy bedroom. We could do it up here. We have room. I kind of wanted everything to be symmetrical. Actually, let's just stick it here. It's not RimWorld where uh, if someone runs by a sleeping dupe, it messes them up. Oh, the game's getting really laggy. I think it might be those 
those suits, I can just, it's just got really sluggish. We tried them out. Once, once I dig all that out, we will, uh, maybe disable all that. Okay, we want beds. Furniture? Beds? And paintings. I've got a bit of crap in the base here I could sweep up. I'm generally pleased with how things are going though. We're not refining anything, so we're not getting any hot water into our pinch of peppers. I'm out of lime. Let's use the shells to make lime. I know there's a bunch of shells out there. Oh yeah, and I forgot to finish this project. Okay, we will do that. Uh, I will build a wall here. Let's just use sandstone. Build a wall there, and then we can move this over a bit. We ran out of igneous rock at some point. Probably go mine some of that. Yeah, this is starting to melt in here a little bit. Minus 17. Oh. We need a place for this water to go. So let's do... We'll do a drainage area down here. Some wolframite while we're at it. So we'll just let it. If it melts, it melts. That's fine. I don't want it accumulating here because that's where we have a plant. How's this dig going? Slowly. But pretty cool. Maybe I'll reduce the size. That might be lagging things even worse. That's a big project. But way more feasible to dig the whole map now. 15%. Oh man. Maybe I'll use super speed. It's cheating. It's definitely cheating. It's an exploit. Because you can get to the planet way faster. Let's do it. Oh, should we do it? No, it's cheating. I won't do it. Telescope idle. That's not good. What? what, what what's left? Oh, we've almost scanned every- we've scanned everything! That's it! That's all she wrote! We have a oh, volcanic planet. Magma. Ooh. Let me know in a comment if you think I should use super speed, which lets us do missions way faster. Then we can get out to those exotic planets. Is there any other projects I wanted to do? Let's fill up this bedroom. We'll take these beds out. So they can switch to these beds. How's my little fish farm going? Uh, I forgot to put in the container. Let's put the container in. Ready nine. I think they're multiplying. They'll become tame at some point. Wild. Wildness 58. Yeah, so they'll eventually become domesticated. And then they will, I think, start multiplying faster. We got a, we got a baby in here. Let's grab that. Fish. I can feel the lag building. I don't want too much lag. I built a f uh, fish farm in my last base, and I had about 30 fish in there. And the lag was just crazy. Once I killed the fish, I got like 20 FPS back. Anything I want to do down here? I don't really think so. That's 
it's all growing in there. It's all good. It's, oh, there's some hydrogen I haven't used yet. Way up here. This hydrogen vent here. Hmm. I think I'll actually just let her rip. Let's stick a door on here. Do we even need a door? You know what? If this all gets hot in here, it doesn't really matter. So let's actually just rip this open. Let the hydrogen fly. Let's dig this out. And it'll end up he up at the top here. Put some tiles. If I can draw some tiles uh, along here. Oh, we can't do there because that pinch pip nut. Jeez, we can't even get that out of the way. That's probably excessive ladders, but just want to get that one out of there. There we go. Hydrogen. Quite a bit of hydrogen. So once we s put a ceiling here, it'll all float up here. Oh, this is getting dangerously wrecked. How much steel do I have? Uh, we have... Oh yeah, it's a raw metal. Even though it's refined. Okay, we have a bit of steel. Let's continue the bunker tile across here. What I really should do is continue on with my bunker doors across here and build more solar. In fact, maybe we should do that instead. That'll be better use of the steel. Let's clear this out, and that out, and we'll build a robo miner here. Continue the power cable. Not, not priority nine, priority eight should be good. We'll come across here. Uh, shipping is robo miner. Stick that like so. Now I know I'm overlapping rubble miners here. It's not efficient because that covers to there and that's going to cover. It's going to be overlapping. But it it's just what I'm going to do. It, they don't use power unless they're digging, so it, it, it'll just mean faster digging. And then every two doors here will do a solar panel. And we'll need some ladder. Actually, they'll be able to just walk up here and dig. But we have to clear this. We have to move this down. Actually, let's just do this. The ladder, like, here. Here. And then a solar panel. Right here. Yes. And then more glass tile. Window tile made out of diamond, since we have lots of diamond. a little bit more. It might get destroyed, but I will just rinse and repeat all the way over to the edge, and then we'll have ridiculous amounts of solar panel or uh, solar power. Oh, some got through. This window tile got busted. So did this one. That's because I don't have enough scanners. I have one scanner that has zero visibility. Maybe I should address that. There I am again. I'm busy. Okay, this needs power. 
I'm using heavy watt wire for that because it's the main grid. Kerplunk. Kerplatch, kerplunk. Unreachable. Can I get up there? Mm. I'll try that. And try that. Mm hmm. And let's just plan out the next one. Bunk tile. Two. Two and then two bunker tile, and then just continue that on. Let's check our power here. So we've got power consumed around six kilowatts on average, uh, between four and six. Power produced between three and I thought I thought I saw seven there. Yeah, three and seven. Potential is eight. It's looking good light. They're all getting their full light except for this one. I gotta hook up this door. We can do that. I think they're making... Yep. When they run along... When they run along the glass... Hee <laughs> hee! Listen to that! <laughs> it's a nice little sound. Let's do that and that. More power. I should have done this a long time ago. We don't really need the power, but it's fun. It's renewable. It's good. Oh, they sound so dainty when they run across that. How's our rocket? 33%. I don't think we're going to get another rocket mission. Now this little piece of regolith here, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get a robo miner in here. I might have to block a little bit of this solar panel. I didn't think this out correctly. We don't have an attachment point for the robo miner. I could put it on the ground because we wouldn't be blocking anything, but it might get covered up. I don't know if they can dig themselves out. Let's, let's, let's find out. Let's take a robo miner right here. Yeah. It'll probably overheat. Even if we make it out of steel. We will find out. 262 degrees. These things overheat at 275. It uh, might work. It just might work. Use steel. I think they might be able to dig themselves out. I'm not positive. Oh, it's going to get power. Perfect. Whoa. What was that? Oh, the power. The light just stopped. I'm like, what the hell was that? I think this will get entombed, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I need to extend this. Out this way. And... Same thing here. It's a little bit precarious building these things, because if you get a meteor shower in the middle of it, you can get some destruction going on. No study level star map destination. I think we're done with the telescope. There's nothing left to look at. Yeah, we're done. Should I get rid of it? I'll just leave it for now. Flooding. Well, that's a first. That's been running smoothly for a lot of cycles. And now it floods. Oh wow, it's flooding everywhere. Is there anything left to melt? Yeah, there's a bit of ice here. Oh, we're going to lose this sleet weed, I think. Could put a wheeze wart there. I think we have some spare wheeze warts. Stick a wheeze wart there. Keep that nice and cool. We got 
Oh, we got heat coming in here. Got some fish we can grab. Uh, fish trap. Put a couple of those in. Grab those guys. Put a weasel in here. It's actually warming up in here. Well, those are nice and cool. This is a little bit warm. These ones are definitely too warm. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up, though. I don't know how long it's been. It's probably close to an hour, maybe over an hour. I should really look at the clock before I do these things. How's our big dig going? Oh, it's excruciatingly slow, but they're, they're getting through it. It kind of feels like automation. It's, it's automated, but it's taken forever. Got fish in here I could probably get. Let's get the uh, fish trap. Do a couple there. Get those fish out of there. We'll leave some wild fish, but I'm going to get a lot of them. That water is going to drop. But that's okay. And next episode... Oh, we still have to get through this research. We'll still do research missions. I'll do the rest of the research missions off camera. We'll go... We'll go to a few extra planets. I'll go to uh, whatever's left. I'll go to this one and this one to just do research. Then I'll reconfigure the rocket next episode to get some cargo. And we'll go get some wheeze warts off this ice planet. And we'll get some niobium, isoresin. We'll get some of these cool minerals with cargo. And then we might be able to build some super insulation and some super coolant. I really got to get this sour gas out of the base. I might do that as well. Yeah, so um, thanks for watching. As always, uh, I'm repeating myself here. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.